I took over Davio's in 1985. It was already an existing restaurant. Uh, it was a very small restaurant. Uh, we had about 15 employees, uh, and we've grown over the years. Now we have seven restaurants uh, with over 700 employees. About seven or eight years ago, we started doing spring rolls in our restaurant in Philadelphia, and I brought them to Boston. And then we started getting them to stores, and uh, other restaurants were buying them, and uh, other hotels and caterers. And now we're in 3,000 stores in 40 states around the country and growing. I partnered with uh, this woman, uh, Stephanie Hernan, who owned a company called Yankee Trader Seafood. So I partnered with her and you know, now we own the company together. We have almost 100 people now doing this job. But now we just don't do spring rolls. We do all sorts of things. We do scallops wrapped in bacon and short ribs and calamari and uh, all sorts of products. In November, I'm going to go on QVC selling these things. If you ever told me that I would be on QVC selling a product, I thought you'd be crazy. People are constantly asking me questions about this business. Or I have chefs or I have other managers from other restaurants come to see me. They want to open up their restaurant or they're having problems with their owner and they want to get my side of it. Or, or even like I have people who come see me who have other businesses. They're in a flower business, you know, and they come and ask me how to, how to expand. And, you know, uh, I have people who are uh, in have products come to me and want to get their products in stores. So all these things that people constantly call me and email me and I, and I meet with everybody and I just love to help people. Uh, so I thought, you know, I think I, I should write a book. So the book is right here. It's all about the guests. And the reason it's called It's All About the Guests is every decision I make is about the guests. Okay, the guest that walks through the front door. But we also have their inner, our inner guests, which is our employees who come through the back door. We treat them like a guest. And I, my opinion is, sure, food's important. I'm a food guy. I'm a chef. I love food, right? It's all I think about. But it's the service. It's how you're treated. So my, what I think is if you treat your people that you work with, your team, really well, and, you, and they're, they have the same passion that you have, then it's going to come across to the guests. Davio's, you know, we just didn't get here by accident. This, you know, I've got a lot of great things that have happened over the years. I have a lot of amazing people that have helped me get here. So I talk all about that. I give a lot of tricks to the trade. I tell stories and I tell you all these crazy things that have happened to me. And after each chapter, I give five or six bullet points of what you just learned. I see it as kind of a hybrid. You know, it's a business book for business people as well as a, a book for people who go to, came, uh, to cooking school. There's no question. So it really goes both ways uh, because that's what I am. I'm a business guy who also was a chef. We also have 12 recipes. So how I did it was I didn't just put 12 recipes at the back of the book because I thought no one would ever look at them. So what I do is I'll be telling a story. Like I tell a story about Julia, Julia Child, right? Julia Child was a friend of mine and her, one of her favorite dishes was our pasta with pomodoro sauce. So after I tell this funny story about Julia, then I put the recipe right there. It's been going great. Last week we were number one on Amazon for new new releases. I mean, I, I, I just it's kind of cool. So I don't really see myself as an innovator. I just see someone who doesn't quit, you know, and I just keep coming at you. I don't sit back on my laurels and say, well, I'm Davios. I've been around 28 years. We're going to be fine. And sometimes I make mistakes. Sometimes it works. I just love what I do so much and I'm not going to stop. I, you know, I, I'm 52 years old. I've been doing this for 28 years of owning Davios. And I just feel like I'm just getting started. They're going to have to take me out of here in a box because I'm not going anywhere. <laughs>